Hey guys, these finally came the other day. I just don't know what to make of these monsters. I mean, they're really cool, but they're big. Uh-oh, see, Jason's no match, they're too big. I mean, these are almost more to scale with the eight inch figures than the Lightning Collection. I'm thrilled to have a pumpkin wrapper, don't get me wrong, but. And I, I would be upset if it was smaller than the Rangers. I think monsters need to be bigger. Pretty sure there's a video where I'm saying how I hope Hasbro will do lightning collection monsters and make them bigger because the monsters need to be, you know, menacing. They, they're monsters, they need to be bigger than the Rangers, but that's like a, kind of asking an evil genie, right? Like you, you get exactly what you asked for, but it's not quite what you wanted. <laughs> oh, you want big monsters, eh? Here, is that big enough for you? No, no, that's too big. You said you wanted, well, yeah, but uh, just, just a little bit bigger, not. <laughs> I think King Sphinx is worse. I haven't opened them yet. But it's a, it's a good looking pumpkin wrapper and I love that they include it. Speaking of uh, old videos, I have a video where I was talking about just that and I made my own pumpkin for the putties. So, I mean, that's exactly what I wanted. Sort of. <laughs> All right, well anyway, those are here. So I'll have a video eventually with those. As much as the size bothers me, this collection is looking fantastic. Um, King Sphinx should not be that much bigger than Goldar, but at the same time, look at that. It looks fantastic. I'm, I'm very torn here. I hope Hasbro knows when and if they make Rito Revolto, not to make him tower over Rita Zed and Goldar. <laughs> Unless they're just like, uh, trolling. It's a great looking collection. Pumpkin wrapper bothers me less than King Sphinx. I think King Sphinx should be smaller. Or Goldar should be bigger, one or the other. For the most part, really looking great. I look forward to more, more bad guys. Um, now, if they were doing like the Org Generals from Wild Force or Diabolico, I, I would definitely want them to be that kind of size, right? Diabolico, at least as big as King Sphinx, if not bigger. And there are definitely some monsters that should be big, but King Sphinx is not one of them. Like, there's nothing. Yeah, you know, he's too small for the Megazord. Kind of too big for the. Super mini pla. Too big for the Rangers. Good looking figure, even though I still maintain they should have done the black in, in his mouth. And then painted the teeth white. And then you'd have a pretty perfect figure that's too big. Right? Uh, they got detail on the wings. Look at that. People the Facebook groups keep posting photos of pumpkin wrapper showing that he doesn't have the black in the mouth. Uh, the, the suit. But, you know, when you're working with toys and models, Sometimes you paint things that aren't actually there to give the illusion of, you know, more detail or to bring out the detail. So, see, I, I, I did a black wash on Rita's hair, and then I dry brushed silver over it, and that looks a lot better. Now, does she actually have black in her hair? No, it's, you know, it's... I don't know if I'm explaining it that well, but it, it looks better. I think Pumpkin Wrapper would have looked better had they at least done a darker color if not black in the mouth. You can do it yourself, and I might do it, but I did paint Rita's staff last night. We've been working on other stuff today, so I don't really have much of a vlog, but we can flash back to the time that I got that train. I don't think any of that ever made it to a vlog, so uh, this set actually came from Mia's mom. We found it at an antique store in Pennsylvania. Oh, if you are a Who's Jerry person, I'm just gonna stick the recap we did in April at the end of this video, so stay for the whole video or you can use the chapters to skip ahead. Who's ready for antiquing? I thought I needed that. After the antique place, we went to the Strasbourg Railroad to take a train ride. I do love my steam engines and old trains. Time. 
time when it was every youngster's dream to be the engineer of a great steam locomotive riding the rails of America. This is the 1 p.m. train departing for Fairview, Esmondshade, Cherry Hill, Cross Grove, Carpenters, Byler's Crossing, Lemon Place Junction, and Paradise, PA. Woo! If you're not going to those places, ladies and gentlemen, you're on the wrong train. We've reached the final stop, and now the engine is going from the back to the front of the train to pull us back to the station. You can see Thomas hiding in there. Thank you. And then after the train ride, we walked across the street. This place is cool. See the scenery they did, I, I appreciate that. This really run nicely. city area is incredible. Yeah. Wow. Now oh, giant Mias are attacking. Mm -hmm. This place has a great collection of real trains and then they've got toy trains as well. Many of which you can operate yourself. Mia, this is craziness. You gotta turn this train around. Mia, honey. You're gonna get into so much trouble. Hey. How do I let you talk me into this? Mia? No! Oh! <laughs> you killed Daisy. That's some good shoveling, Mia. All right, I have to get back to this mess, this project. I gotta kind of reclaim this room. So if you're a Who's Jerry person, I hope you've made it this far. Here is a clip from a video back in April. In the late 1990s, we attended film school in New York City, majoring in animation, where the three of us all met, along with Corey and Julie. Somehow, our group achieved being misfits even within a film school. We were labeled the peanut gallery by our classmates. As the years went on, our group became very tight. Senior year, Jerry became my roommate and Mia lived just across the hall. serious relationships at the time. A 
eventually we graduated and all went our separate ways. That is true. Who's Jerry? It's me. You are Jerry. Do you understand now? <laughs> I'm Jerry. <laughs> I hope that clears it up. <laughs>